Fish your friends, not food. Go vegan. Okay, so I'm in line at Starbucks right now getting my fuel before I head to the studio slash radio station for my interview. Um, I'm super excited. I'm not actually sure what we're talking about. We didn't clarify questions, which normally happens beforehand, but I know how to talk. These guys talk for a living, so it's gonna be fine. I'm sure we're gonna end up talking about porn boot camp because the casting call is in like nine days and I am so not prepared. Um, but I love doing podcasts. I think the more the better. Um, and I love encouraging people who are being um, creative and are trying to like put positive energy out there into the universe. I just did a podcast for the boob project and honestly it was so good. I know it's got a funny name that may cause you to be like mm, boobs whatever but it was probably one of my better interviews. Hmm, who knew? Anyways time for coffee. Sue's wearing her new shoes to her interview. New shoes to my interview. I'm adorable. Okay guys, I'm on my I'm on my way out the door, but I the mail just came and I wanted to catch me opening this before um, I missed it. These are all from Brian. Brian's who got me the pots and pans yesterday, and there's more. And look at this pretty wrapping, okay? This is adorable. And the card says, enjoy your gift from Brian. Okay, I'm stoked, I'm so stoked. <gasps> Reusable, sustainable, biodegradable bamboo utensils. <gasps> These are awesome. Oh my gosh, look at this. Forks, knives, and spoons made of bamboo. This is so special. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to open the rest of this later because I do have to go. This is amazing. All right, so back to um, this wonderful unboxing. So, okay, so my mom sent this to me for Christmas. Check this out. I must be dreaming. And it's just so big. She also gave me maple syrup and um, a Canadian buffalo plaid fleece blankie for the couch. Oh, and a finger shark. You guys don't know what a finger shark is. Hang on. This is a finger shark. Look at his little mouth. Arf, arf, arf. Because that's what I think sharks say. But he's got a little pocket. Yeah, I got long nails. There we go. Hello. I'm a finger shark. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> so Brian got me this, we opened this earlier. This is the bamboo um, disposable cutlery and utensils. This stuff, wha bam is so rad. It's reusable, which is amazing that you could like wash it and reuse it. It's splinter free, it's sustainable, it's biodegradable, it's BPA free, it's ethically sourced, and it's um, not made with trees or plastics of any kind. And there's, like 50 forks and 25 spoons and 25 knives because we all use more forks than anything else and they're all made of bamboo and they look amazing and they're like so nicely packaged and oh they smell good i'm really excited about this this is so good so when i like i pack lunches like the one time a year that i get to pack lunches for people i can give them cutlery that is okay if they recycle or throw out because it's gonna be biodegradable anyways i love this this is my little vegan heart is happy. Like we're saving the planet, I love it. Okay. And I love the gift wrap that this comes in. I think it's so pretty. If you know me, I save all of these and I reuse them. Um, okay, let's see, what's this one? It's another purple one. I love the purple with the gray bow. Brian's spoiling me. Like we got the pots and pans yesterday, which were expensive. And then we got the bamboo cutlery, which was not cheap, which is why it was on my wish list and not something I bought myself. Okay, let's see. I love this gift wrap. I think it's just such a sweet little added touch. I don't even know what this could be. I still have no idea what this could be. I still don't know what this could be. Oh, <gasps> I know what this is. Oh my God. 
<gasps> oh, I know what this is. <gasps> Someone's been listening. Okay, so these. These. Um, you attach a drill. And then this is Velcro. And you attach these fluffy pads to it. Shink, so that I can like buff the scratches out of my truck. Like, this is awesome. Oh, I hope it's sunny tomorrow. I'm gonna work my truck. <gasps> I'm gonna be able to make my truck so pretty again. That's a whole other YouTube video. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so let me explain something. I did it again, let me explain. Um, any like traveling comedian, especially an American comedian traveling in out of Canada will tell you that like, if you go to an American comedy show, this is so cool. Okay, if you go to an American comedy show, they'll, the people will just like slap their knees and laugh and cheer and, and spit beer out their nose. Like they have such a good time. Canadians at a comedy show, West Coast Canadians at a comedy show are always like, oh, that's funny. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like that's how we like emote. And I guess it's because we like we don't want to be rude. Like we don't want to like create a disturbance. We're we're just like a very calm people. So I'm sitting here like I'm like Oh, I'm so happy. Because I'm so happy that my Canadian is telling me to like shh, be quiet. Don't draw attention to yourself. Other people might not be as happy because they don't have this wonderful gift, but you have this gift, so just shh. It's a Canadian thing. Comedians make fun of us all the time for that. And I didn't understand it until I came to America. Okay, this is huge. The card's gonna say the same thing. Enjoy your gift from Brian. I'm not saying his last name because I'm not sure if he wants to be like outed as like buying the likes of me a present. Because hmm. um, sometimes, you know, people don't want to acknowledge that they know a heathen such as myself. But this is really cool. Open up. My left arm's still really weak. I can't really like push or pull with it yet. So it just stays still. My right hand does all the work. Have <laughs> you noticed that? Like I'm not pulling with this arm at all. It's just, it just stays still. I just, I've got knots like here, 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 and here. Just massive knots. I think once I get those knots loosened up, I'll be able to go to a chiropractor and I'll be good. I was gonna say good as rain. Good as gold. Ah. We have a heavy box. Wait, don't make that a sound bite. I don't have a heavy box, I have a perfect box. A cordless powerless drill. A cordless powerless drill. This is expensive. Hang on, we're gonna, we're gonna right hand this. Guys, guys, guys. I feel like, like I have my briefcase, like I'm going to work, just casual. Except, it's a drill. You guys, I love my toolkit, I love my tools. And by my tools, I mean all the ones I steal from my neighbor. Heck, look at this. Okay, so we got the charger, we got some batteries, we have the drill, we got some, we got some bits and bobs, and then my pea brain doesn't even know what this is. I don't, I'm gonna have to read instructions. Like, this is awesome. You know, my dad bought me my first drill like 15 years ago, and I didn't appreciate it. Now, being older and wiser, I realize that this is like the cornerstone of any single person's life. You're always gonna need a drill, no matter what you do, no matter how like non-handy you are, you're always gonna need a drill for something. This is so cool. This is so rad. Okay, okay right now, I'm not gonna lie. This is my toolbox. You can see my hammer sticking out there. That's my toolbox. Um, so I will have to get a real toolbox at some point, but this is my drill. Hi, baby. Hi, welcome to the family. 
Sharks can't swim backwards. Oh. So today's video is super short because I didn't do a lot. I sat at my computer and I updated videos. I'm updating um, macmovies.ca right now. So yeah, I woke up, I got all glamorous and sexy for my interview, and then my interview got pushed back, but it didn't get pushed back enough hours for me to like unbeautify, go to the gym, come back, or beautify and go. And I didn't want to go to the gym with like these giant lashes on, all fancy schmancy with the push-up bra and the strappy bits. Um, so I stayed home and I got some computer editing done. I went to Starbucks, I went to my meeting, I had a beautiful interview that is going to be live by four o'clock on Wednesday, so it might be live by the time you're watching this. Um, and then I picked up some Starbucks and I was super hyped about the stuff we talked about in our meeting. And I came home and I hung out with my neighbor and we watched some ridiculousness. I didn't even know that show existed until tonight. I just spent like the last four hours just laughing my ass off. Um, and then I got to learn level one, how to play the finger drums on a, what's it called? MPC? Where you go, do, 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 do. <laughs> um, and so now I'm gonna update my, my website some more because if I don't update, we all get cranky. Um, and then because we're gonna be doing the big casting call for Porno Bootcamp, I've gotta start working on that website and get that up and running. And I don't know why I'm talking with my hands like this, but this seems to be the direction I'm going in. Um, so I'm gonna go back to my computer and get shit done. Casting calls in like nine days. And I'm not ready. Bye.